Jared Poland, Fro Knows Photo.com. And here is another Adorama Picks rapid fire critique where I take 10 photos that somebody submitted in this week's, uh, what's the guy's name? Peter? Krupa? Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to go back, make sure. Patrick Krupa. I'm sorry, Patrick. Anyway, Patrick Krupa sent in 10 photos for me to do a rapid fire critique of. He submitted his 10 best photos via Flickr uh, to the email address froknowsphoto at gmail.com with the subject line Adorama Picks Rapid Fire Critique. And that is why I stumbled upon his because it was in there with the right subject line. And I, I just saw a couple and was like, yeah. Let's go and let's do some critiques here because there's some unique images. So here's the first image. It's a black and white. Looks like it's backstage at a concert. Um, really cool black and white. Edited very well. I love this light right here. Nice and shiny. Um, it, it, it's, it's creating some interest in the image. Uh, again, I say this all the time. If you can get access that other people can't get access to at shows then by all means, take it. You know, if you can do it, get some really cool stuff, not just shooting from the pit. I mean, here you've got everything from the crowd to this candy back here to the scaffolding with all the different lights. I think it's a really strong image that really tells a nice story of what was going on. Other than that, I don't know what else was going on, but I, I like this image. Black and white is very strong. Going to move to the next one. All right, so we have a portrait here, too soft. Um... Uh, pulled back, it looks like an editing, it's just, the, the the face, the features don't seem real, um, so I'm not sure if it was out of focus, and he's just trying to save, actually, you know, it's interesting, it looks like that the earring may be in focus, and the face isn't, um, so trying to save this image, I don't think it worked, the composition is nice, the wind blowing in her hair is nice, the blown out background is, is okay, but I'm, I'm, led to believe that it's not a real blown out background, that it may have been done digitally. Um, I think I noticed something in a photo later on, possibly, or that may have been somebody else's, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I just, to save this image, I think you'd have to go to black and white, bump up your uh, exposure a little bit, really pump up that contrast and clarity to try to get some sharpness out of it, but, you know, right here around the, the, the face, the mouth, it looks too soft, um, other than, you know, the composition's good, the framing, her look is good. I just somewhere the image was off. Um, this is cool. I you know I love black and whites. Uh, right on the steps, very nice. Um, it's very contrasty. It almost has a look like it was actual film because it is so contrasty and there's some blown out areas. Now I am not somebody who's going to sit there and say, well the forehead's blown out and there's no gray area there. Uh, there's no tones, so it's bad. I'm not going to say that because. I re myself in school or now it's true. I blow out a lot of my highlights. I blow out a lot of areas and I do that myself when I'm editing. I, I pump up the contrast, which then goes ahead and blows out those areas. And you know what? To me, that's not the main focus and it's not distracting that there's no tones in his head right here. To me, the whole image here is this kid, the, this guy sitting here holding the kid. That is what the image is about. Happy with this composition, nice framing, um, nice, it's just a nice image, it's a nice moment, it doesn't look like it's a, it's a setup shot, I mean it probably is, but it comes across very candid, so I'm pretty happy with that, nice job. Um, is that the GM building in Detroit? It could be. Uh, so this has a very interesting feel to it. It's that muted color that, you know, people always say, why do you always say it, it looks like it was shot with a cannon? Well, because sometimes the cannon seemed... People seem to edit and get this interesting muted color. Um, I may have liked to have seen this go black and white like the very first shot. Pumped up the contrast really well because I think that this muted color is kind of kind of weird. But, you know, if, if you like it, you like it. Uh, it's an interesting shot with the building in the background and everybody on this promenade or wherever it is just probably going to music. I'm, I'm seeing this girl right here. No, wait, is that a guy? No, that's a girl. It's a nice skirt, by the way. Um, so it's an interesting shot. I think that black and white would add more dimension. I know I mentioned this last week in the uh, schooner photos of the... Uh, by the way, the person who, who yells one row, two row, they're called a coxman. Thank you, everybody, for pointing that out last week. If you missed it, you can click at the end of this to see last week's uh, rapid-fire critique. But 
This photo, I think it would add more dimension to go black and white, pump up that contrast. This guy would stand out, uh, look really cool. I'd be interested to see that. This is a cool high angle shot, um, obviously black and white. What is really cool about this, it's like one of those, um, I don't know who that drawing guy who makes those weird angles when you walk this way, you're actually walking this way, all that stuff. But I like that there's this walk, this causeway between buildings. That's really cool. There's another one over here. I like the angles. I like this high building here. Really nice. I like the tones. I like what's captured here, the street. Um, just a cool overall image. Again, maybe a little more contrast for me, but um, it's a it's a night shot. I'm, I, I like it. I like the angle that was taken, and I like... The, the, the photos so far, I really like which direction we're going here. Uh, okay, this, okay, so yeah, this, unless it was shot with a perspective control lens, I'm, you know what, let's go into this photo and let's see some more information. Yeah, hey, look, guys, they're shot with a Canon. Um, 24 millimeter focal length, F11, yep, okay, that's our answer right there. If this was taken at f11, then yeah. So there's a lot of digital manipulation going on here. f11 would mean that everything in the background would be in focus. So this was taken into uh, a computer later, obviously into a, into a program. And uh, she's really cute, by the way. Uh, it was taken into a program and blurred out the background. So I'm not a big fan of that. In, uh, that's just me. I try to do that as natural as possible because this did give that look like it was fake, especially blurring out the ground here, but leaving all of this nice and sharp. Now, it's nice composition. It's a little too orangey yellow for me. Uh, the skin tones are a little off, at least based on this screen. Um, not a bad shot for a 24 millimeter. I just I would like to see it more natural. Uh, F11 and then blurring it out later. Maybe it was a mistake. Didn't mean to do it. But try to do you know try to get that right in the camera. But it's a nice stance. It's a nice pose. She looks relaxed. Um, needs some light kicked in underneath her eyes. Uh, whether it's a, a bounce card or just using Phil, Mr. Phil Light in Lightroom, that could be a possibility to throw some light back into her face or switch her angle, have her turn and stand over here. Why, while the light is coming in from outside hitting her face. Ooh, this is a cool shot. Um, you may be wondering why wasn't it shot horizontal, but I think this is much stronger in a vertical uh, shot. It looks like just an old rundown hotel, possibly giving you that haunted feel. And, and what helps with this is that there's no footprints, it looks like, on this snow. Michigan Central Station. I don't know, is that still open? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not from Michigan. I i don't think I've ever been to... Well, I've been to Mich I've been through Michigan. I don't think I've been anywhere in Michigan, really. Um, really nice framing, nice composition, like the muted color. I don't know if it's an HDR or not, but even if it is, I like what is going on here. This is cool, especially with these three trees. The building, really cool shot. One of the best that we've seen in this set. I like it. I like that it's vertical. I like that it's even all the way through. And it's just a really cool, ominous image. Ah, oh, man, another strong, crazy cool shot. Comerica Park um, in Detroit. This is, this is awesome. Um, you don't see stuff like this all the time. This is, I love the processing of this. This is, again, a strong image. I love that the lights are in there. Um, the sun is going down. The field is lit up. It has that muted color. It looks like it has some vignetting added. You know what? I want to see what this is shot with. What are we shot with? Nikon D300S. Uh-oh, we're switching multiple cameras. F10, 160th of a second, ISO 400. All right, that gives us a lot of information. Nikon D300S. Let's go back into this. I love this shot. This is great. Should Oh, and look, the picture's in his wind-up. Um, actually, he's in his... Uh, well, yeah, he's, he's throwing the pitch. The batter's up. We have a left-handed batter. Catcher, umpire. Uh, the Nobody's on. Really cool. You got the signs in the outfield. You got the signs. This is this is an awesome shot. I Wow. This is a strong shot. I love this shot. Um... I don't know if some dodging and burning was done up here, but whatever whatever he did to this shot, I love it. This is even stronger than the one before, in my opinion. I love this. Should send it into these guys and uh, see what happens. Highlight of the uh, of the group so far. Um, this is cool. This is a panning shot. Panning is when you you uh, 
track your subject all the way through. So you, you shoot the picture and you keep moving. You pan with the subject. You move. You're panning, which is moving this way. You can do you use a slower shutter speed sometimes um, with a higher aperture so that you can, you know, you have to get a slower shutter speed. So when you let that light in, you keep panning. What's going to happen is the car is going to show, mo it's going to stay in focus or, or you know, it's going to stay, yeah, stay in focus better and the background's going to blur out. So I don't know if this was taken that way with panning or if it was blurred later based on some of the other images but that's how you pan slow the shutter speed down compensate with your aperture um snap the picture but follow through and then you get those nice blurred backgrounds or not not the blurred backgrounds you could get those streaked movement backgrounds while the subject is still looking good um this shot okay i get it <laughs> I had to look. I had to think about what it is. There's a hole in the ground, but this is an old, it looks like an amphitheater, uh, auditorium. Okay, it says it right there. Kaztec Auditorium. So either he was trespassing. Yeah, no, I thought I saw a person's head down here, but I do not. This is pretty interesting. Um, I saw a thing where a guy did a whole tour of all these rundown places and restored them to beauty doing HDR images. I think it was on Yahoo one day. Really cool stuff. You know, he did what he did, and, and I'm not going to rip on HDR. If that's what the guy does a great job with, then then that's great. Um, what's throwing me off about this is the, is the background being totally in focus again, probably shot at F11 again. But r it's really interesting with the wall knocked down to the back of the amphitheater. Cool shot. HDR could be interesting in this one. Um, so, yeah, keep that in mind. I actually said it. Uh, all right, celebrating, burning the tires. We got these two people here. She's smoking. He's drinking. You got the coolers. You got a Dick's bag. Uh, you're in a parking lot. Again, high, high apertures. I wonder why. Nikon D300S with shot at 5.6, 29 millimeters. Anywhere here, does it tell me what lens it was? Well, it looks spot metering. Uh, D50. Don't know what that's all about. Do 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 do. Hey, look, there's his phone number. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go back because I don't know why, but he's got this thing for shooting uh, high apertures. Hey, that works for you. Go for it. And this looks like the last shot. Is this a self-portrait? I don't know. But look at that catch light in the eye. I wonder if it's added later or if, or if it's just there. That's really cool. Let's go look at the aperture one last time to see if if he's doing the same thing here. Um, computer, no, 51.4 this time, shot at 1.4, there we go, now we're doing it, now we're talking about it, really cool, this is, this is sharp image, not just because it's nice and sharp on the eye, just really cool, and he's doing something interesting with his processing, he seems to have a style going, where his thing is pulled back a little, less contrasty, less, less oomph in the color, but a little more muted, Hey, that works. It, it's great. It, staying consistent with his edits. Really happy with that. This this is a really cool set of images. And my two favorite, uh, the the one of the what the the train station, this one of the central station, and then this one at Comerica Park is just really awesome. I really like this shot. I mean, this is something that. People there in Detroit would want to hang on their wall. I really love it. Great job. If you want to submit a, a your 10 best photos, either a photo story or just 10 random images, I love photo stories. I say it all the time. Uh, then you can submit it to froknowsphoto at gmail.com with the subject line, Adorama Picks, uh, Rapid Fire Critique. Uh, and guess what? Patrick is getting some prints from Adorama Picks. Maybe I'll, you know what? Why don't I give him a hardback book? So let's give Patrick a hardback book. I'll contact him, and Adorama is going to give him for free. Um, AdoramaPicks.com is going to give him for free a uh, hardback book. I'd love to see more of these type of images, like on the, like is that is on the screen. I think he did a great job with this, um, and congratulations. So get your photos sent in. Uh, those uh, I go through them, you know, I get them and uh, and you know, this is only like week I don't know maybe I don't know 10 11 I got to figure out which week this is but yeah Know that I do look at them It is hard to get to all of them because there's probably about 600 of them sitting in there But I don't look at all of them in order I jump around randomly and find them and see what grabs my attention and I go for it so you know definitely get your pictures in for this and we will see you next week great job Patrick 
Congratulations on getting that book from AdoramaPicks.com, and we will see you next week. Jared Poland, Fro Nose Photo.com. See ya!